What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy. Dom's about with some gameplay. There's me right there. About to show y'all a little gameplay. This is, it's not nothing too crazy. It's not going to be the best gameplay you've seen on Nuketown in this game thus far. But, you know what I'm saying? Let's just go ahead and hop into it. You feel me? All right, man. So, Nuketown, so far in this game, I I'm rocking with it. The only thing is that, like, I, I can't see anybody on the map. And this is a big problem even in maps outside of, you know what I'm saying, just Nuketown. It's just really hard to see people. Uh, also, I, I really wish that Treyarch would fix the theater mode. This is a really good feature for, you know what I'm saying, content creation and stuff, but you can't see enemy names or teammate names, and you can't see any hit markers for some reason. So I feel like that should get fixed. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty good, man. And Nuketown, it, it's pretty fun, man. It's kind of hectic. The first few games that I hopped on, I, I kind of just had to get used to it. It's kind of like the first uh, few days or whatever that shipment was available to us. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got to get used to it and stuff like that. This gameplay, even though it's one of my better gameplays, it, I actually wasn't even paying attention for the majority of this game. I was kind of just messing around. You see, I got the... I got the C4 on my class. I, don't, I usually don't run C4 in this game, but you know what I'm saying? Lately, I've been rocking C4. Uh, lately, you know what I'm saying? What I've been doing with Nuketown basically is just like leveling up all my ARs. Uh, after ARs, I'm going to move over to snipers and then I'm going to do SMGs and stuff like that. Kind of want to rake up the classes that I know are going to be kind of difficult to rank up um, once the double X weapon XP goes away. Uh, the reason I'm not doing LMGs is because, like, LMGs is going to be retarded easy, especially once I hop into hardcore, bro. And if I get maps like Satellite and Moscow over and over again, bro, like, LMGs are going to be no problem to rank up. I also got the VTO equipped. I, I wanted to get it in this game. I haven't gotten the VTO yet. So that's what I was going for in this game, especially you're going to see me get the War Machine in a little bit. And uh, try and pop off with that. I feel like there shouldn't be spawn protection on the war machine, bro. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I understand, like, if you do get the war machine, you could spawn trap, like, really crazy. But, like, I don't know, bro. It just doesn't make any sense to me. See me pulling out the Sigma. I was also going for, you know what I'm saying, the, uh, you know, leveling up my launchers and stuff like that. I, I also want to level up the Thumper. That's another gun that I want to level up because the Thumper is going to be hard in, you know what I'm saying, regular core and even hardcore game modes and maps and stuff. Nuketown will still be available if you guys don't know after uh, the 30th. It's just going to be like mixed in with all the other maps. I know some people are kind of new to all of this. You know what I'm saying? You Warzone players that aren't going to be on the game very long. Y'all probably not not really used to all this. This AK is nasty, man. Like Especially with the, the silencer on it, bro. I just be feeling like nobody can stop me. I definitely find that SBMM kicks in a lot in Nuketown, like, specifically. Uh, some of the other games... I mean, not, not games, but some of the other maps, it's not that bad. But, you know, Nuketown, you can get your score per minute up so quick on this game or on this mo uh, map. And so it kind of, like, messes around with the skill-based matchmaking algorithm a little bit. At least from what I can tell, like, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, we don't really know what the skill-based matchmaking is like in Black Ops Cold. We, we, we don't know exactly, like, what it is, but... You can kind of tell, you know what I'm saying, based on our experiences and stuff. This Nuketown also, like, it really reminds me of, like, the OG Black Ops 1 Nuketown. It, it seems like this is the Black Ops 1 Nuketown, but, like, like just damaged and stuff like that. Like, if you guys uh, ever played on EVAC in Black Ops 3, how that map was, like, super, like, messed up and stuff. Like, it, it, this seems like a post-apocalyptic Nuketown or something. I, I I don't know, bro. Yeah, man. They definitely need to fix theater mode, though. I like this floral camo that I got on my AK, too. I, I think my favorite camo, other than, of course, the mastery camos, has to be, like, the blossom floral camo, which is the last floral camo that you unlock for, like, any weapon. That thing is nasty, bro. 
the re I think like the biggest reason I don't really have a lot of good gameplays on Nuketown yet is just because of the the tactical rifles, man. They are so strong this year. Like tactical rifles are insane. The M16 is still nasty. The AUG is still insane. Uh, even the Type 63 and the DMR, they got buffs, so those are nasty too. Like it's really hard to compete with tactical rifles, especially once like people with AUGs and M16s get behind like the the buses and the cars on Nuketown. It's kind of hard to get them off of those like head glitches and stuff. Or if they sit up top, it's kind of hard to get them out of the, a lot of those power positions. I didn't even know where I died from in that specific instance. You see that guy didn't pop up on the screen. It was like that in the actual gameplay too. It wasn't just like that because of theater mode. I don't know what happened. Textures are popping in and out, man. This is just what happens in theater mode. It wasn't like that while I was playing, which is good. Uh, even though sometimes like when you're loading into like a, a game that's already in progress, it kind of lets you like sit around for a little while, even though you already chose your class setup and stuff. I don't know what's up with that, but I, I think that's kind of more like Nuketown specific. I don't think that that's ever happened to me on like Moscow or, you know what I'm saying? Any of the, the 6v6 maps that launch with the game. But yeah, man, that's all for this gameplay. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And with that being said, another day, another down. You feel me? Peace.